guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another P.O. Box pickups of video. I have a bunch of stuff that I ordered online uh, that came to the P.O. Box, and then I have a couple of letters over here that I'm going to open for you guys. And then just to discuss a couple of things, uh, just an announcement for the channel. I am trying to figure a way to take a break because every quarter I need to take a week off from making videos. Uh, however, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get things posted and work on my evolutionary project. So uh, just to give you a warning, you will see more 4K videos than usual, more promo pre-order videos than usual. However, I will try to get some fully edited videos uh, snuck in there, but you know, just for the moment, just expect more of that because I will be putting a lot of time into this evolutionary video I'm, I'm working on already and um, and I need rest, you know, so it's just those two things and also uh, if you're a fan of this YouTube channel uh, you know, you should be a fan of Patreon because it really does help out this channel a lot, some people think it's just greed it's really not, it really helps the channel a lot, I have a new perk for the $1 level, you will get a sneak peek early access to my videos. So for just $1 a month, uh, you're supporting the channel and you get to see the videos before anybody else does, uh, unless they're on Patreon as well. All the other perks are staying the same. I'll still have unique posts going up for the, for the other perks, but I just want to put that out there, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the, the, the $1, even though you know 40 cents of every dollar gets taken away, uh, it, the 60 cents still helps. So just want to put that out there. And then the Todd McFarlane interview. Thank you guys so much for watching the Todd McFarlane interview. For those of you that didn't get the questions asked that you wanted to have asked, um, there was a lot of that stuff was addressed off screen at New York Toy Fair. And aside from me having not catching my notes, I just didn't bring that stuff up because I had already had it addressed to me. So concerns about scaling, that's something that they're working on. Added accessories, that's another thing that they've talked about. I can't give like official statements from them because it's just coming from me, but uh, this is stuff that was talked about from a couple of staff members. So the concerns that we all have, they're working on. It just takes a while for it to, to the, for the change to happen because the production time of the figures so we'll see but next time I talk to Todd I'll, I'll make sure to stick it to him for you and, and be as much of a dick as I possibly can I'm not gonna do that I never will uh, to, to me he's a legend and I love Todd McFarlane and um, it's my interview when you get to interview him you do it your way I'm doing it my way all right here we go this is from Thomas David from Illinois thank you so much Thomas and let's go ahead and open this up right here. We've got a nice letter right there. And it says, Hi, Shardimus Prime. I, it, he didn't say it all weird like that. It just says, Hi, Shardimus Prime. I've been watching your channel since 2018. You've showed me how to make a great collection and to say thanks. I drew you this and subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, give it ankle pivot from Thomas Davis. Oh, and it's a big time badass Spider-Man right there. Ah, can you see it? Can you see it? Ah, cool. Right on. Is I hope it's not blurry. I have the auto focus. There it goes. There it goes. You can see that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thomas. And then this one is from the same from William. All right. Cool. Sweet. Same place. Let's see right here. This is from William. Oh, another big time, big time Spider-Man. Hi, Shardimus Prime. You are cool. From William. Thank you so much, William. Really appreciate it, you guys. If you guys want to send your letters and artwork, please do so at Shardimus Prime. P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. Address in the description below. All right, let's get to the stuff that I have ordered for myself in the P.O. Box so you can see what kind of uh, new slash new older figures I have here because uh, none of this stuff is brand new I think I'm fairly certain none of it is and this box right here is uh, this is all done in a uh, you know little sandwich bag box right here all right and which one is it I think I know which oh right there we go airstrike Wolverine cool a figure that I never really wanted just bought it for a video <laughs> So there's Airstrike Wolverine. 
I don't think I'm going to do a full-on review of this guy because I didn't get all the stupid accessories and, and all that stuff that I really don't care about. Um, but I will discuss this this figure. Whoa, that ankle pivot. Damn. Actually, I actually has a really good ankle pivot. Jeez. That's, that's pretty good. Very tall Wolverine, though. But yeah, Airstrike Wolverine from the X-Men Classics Toy Biz days. Uh, this is one of the many figures that I will be talking about in my uh, future videos. So stay tuned for that. I... Kind of like the figure, I gotta say, it's just really tall, really good heads. Okay, well, I'll discuss later on. Okay, putting it aside right there, opening up this next box, and we shall see what this is. Some of these I get new, and some of them I don't. It just kind of depends on, you know, how much I want the figure, I guess, or how badly I want to review it. And. Here we have, all right, cool. I think this is the Street Strike Wolverine from X-Men 2, X-Men United. And yeah, I'm pretty sure, oh wow. And I think that's the name of it. Oh gosh, I got complaints already. But here it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have this right here. And will it focus? How come it's not focusing? There it goes. Yeah, and if I could show my face, thumbnail shot maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But there he is, and um, yeah, I'm super happy to have this right now so I can compare it to the new Hugh Jackman figures that we will be getting from Hasbro. But also part of my evolutionary video, and I can see why Glenn Webb was an eBay-aholic. I, I have been, it, it, this has been a weird experience for me, man, because I've been watching Glenn's videos. I mean, I'm totally paying tribute to Glenn in my Marvel Legends Evolution video, but it's, uh... I've been studying his videos, and then YouTube has been recommending more and more of his videos, and it's just like, there's just a lot of Glenn Webb in my life right now. So, I've been also studying, like, what I want to include and not include, so that, like, while I'm watching, while you're watching my video, you will still have a reason to go back to his evolution videos, and it's not going to be exactly the same as what he did. I'm doing my own take on it, but it will be... Definitely a tribute to Glenn and very similar to his uh, to, to his evolutionary videos. It's just mine's gonna be different, but very similar. All right, here we go. This is another box right here. I think this is one that I bought uh, on card. I think this is one that I, I'll probably do it. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Yes, we've got a good deal on this one right here. I've been trying to get the best deals I can buying all of these, but man. All right, we have. Still not a good looking figure though, to be honest with you. This is the X2 X-Men United Super Poseable Wolverine. Yeah, a possible thumbnail pick for that. Mm, or maybe not. We'll see. But, yeah, there that is right over there. This I'll do a full-on review of. There's the back of the packaging, if you can see it. it tries to focus for me. So there that is. Alright. <laughs> Not a good looking figure, man. I mean, really, it's not that great looking of a figure, but hey, I still have my X2 Superposable Nightcrawler over there, which is epic. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys here today. If you want, again, if you want to send your letters and artwork, please do so. Um, Shardimus Prime, PO Box 384 Pacific, California, 94044. A few things that I'm looking for, maybe I'll buy them off of you guys instead of buying them off of eBay. But if anyone has the X Men Classics, XWC Wolverine with Chopper. I'll buy that off you. Uh, if anybody has the uh, um, the Ninja Strike Wolverine, the Ninja Strike Wolverine, I'm looking for that one. Uh, I'll buy that off you. And I think, and then the uh, the first Tiger Stripe Wolverine from Toy Biz, the one where you need the gun to put in his back. Uh, that I'll buy off you. And then, I don't have an Unmasked Series 3, but I just figured I'd use a picture for that one because I have the Unmasked box set one. So I think those two figures are actually the last two I really need, is that first Tiger Stripe Wolverine from X-Men Classics, and then the, uh, and then the uh, frickin' um, XWC Chopper uh, Wolverine. And I think I'll, then I think I will actually have all the Wolverine figures I need to do this video. So anyway, if you, uh, if you want to sell those to me, I'll gladly buy them off you. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm short of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.
said, Rashad, Rashad, Rashad in your face.